baked goat's cheese with local grapes, honey, sunflower seeds, thyme, and it only takes five minutes. My name is Jesse, and I'm cooking here at Parlour, amazing gastro pub in London, UK. Now we do great British food with colour, interest, intrigue, mystery, and hopefully some of it's delicious as well. Now goat's cheese comes in many forms. Sometimes they come whole like that, but that might be a bit daunting, but it also works quite well with that little kind of soft goat's cheese that you have in the supermarkets as well. And I suggest a wet knife to get through We've got a big fat lump of goat's cheese. Now, what I'm gonna do is just add a load of delicious toppings. And what we're gonna add is grapes, fresh, raw grapes. And these just happen to be grown one street away from here in urban London. These are London local grapes. We also have some very soft cooked garlic, peeled garlic in a little pan with some vegetable oil. Cooked it for about 10 minutes. Literally squashy in the finger, but it's also sweet and delicious. I'm gonna add some of these toasted sunflower seeds. You can use any nuts you like, but it's really nice with this dish to have a bit of texture. I'm gonna add a few little extra slices of fresh garlic, okay? And that's just gonna add a little bit of punch. We're gonna add some honey, and I'm gonna add quite a lot of honey, and we've got thyme. It's fragrant and delicious and hardy and versatile. That's gonna go in the oven for about five minutes, just all come together, okay? Five minutes. Right, we have this deliciousness. Soft baked goat's cheese. The grapes have started to release some of their lovely juices. And all we're gonna do is add a few little bits of freshness. And that is my baked French goat's cheese with very local grapes. Honey, garlic, and thyme. Delicious. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oven. Bring it out, put it on the plate, put some bits on it, done.